Let me bring in Admiral James Stavridis. He's a former Supreme Allied Commander at NATO and the NBC News Chief International Analyst. Uh, Admiral, let me ask you about the potential targets and, and what would make sense and what might have been already assumed or guessed by those that they're trying to attack. Well, Lester, we're going to see, I think, uh, a kind of a an, an move up the ladder of escalation here. As, as you and I have talked about for a couple of months now, these responses have been very proportional, meaning a drone hit a U.S. base. We fired back with a couple of uh, bombs or tomahawks. I think what is happening now given the fact that we've had these uh, three servicemen and women killed tragically in Jordan last week. Now you're going to see the next level. So what would that target set look like? I think it will go after, first and foremost, uh, the bases from which these Iranian um, missiles and drones have been operating. We know largely where those are. And instead of being just one or two Tomahawk missiles, a few bombs here and there. Look for a pretty sustained campaign. Uh, that doesn't mean a wider war, but it means this is going to go on for several days, if not a week, if not two weeks. So the principal target sets will be the ammunition, the fuel, the command and control nodes, the transportation grids, the uh, above all the the drones and missiles themselves, all of those very legitimate targets. Now, here's what's interesting, Lester, as we get higher on that ladder of vertical escalation, I think you go after Iranian targets. But let me be very clear, not inside Iran, not Iranian missile facilities inside Iran not overhead Tehran. Instead, what you're looking at is going after the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, IRGC, who are training, equipping, organizing, providing logistics, and probably directing these militias. So I think what you're going to see, and we should expect to hear from the Pentagon soon with some, some additional detail, not only are we going after the actual proxy groups. Not only are we increasing the volume of strikes, but we are also going to include in our targeting Iranian Revolutionary Guard trainers who are supporting these. That's how you get right. at the hand of Iran. Yeah. And, and Admiral, let me ask you, will these be manned aircraft? Will this be escalated to the extent that these are airmen and women who will be flying over targets in harm's way, as opposed to just tomahawks or perhaps drones? I would anticipate all three, um, because from a volume perspective, as you get up into more of a campaign kind of days and potentially a week or even two weeks, really tomahawks won't get that done for you. You've got to have those jets coming off the aircraft carriers coming out of our bases in the Gulf who have the ability to carry multiple uh, joint direct munitions, JDAMs, they're called, you're well aware, these very precise bombs. But the volume you're going to need here, I think, is going to drive you toward a manned aircraft. In addition, by the way, Lester, to drones, correct, uh, Tomahawks, cruise missiles, also air launch cruise missiles, and then finally, as you say, manned aircraft delivering uh, bombs. I think we're going to see all of that. And there probably is some level of cyber attack going on as well in order to blind the sensors of these uh, proxy groups in their bases. It'll be all the above. Admiral, thank you. Let me bring our chief international